Hey guys, I'm Nick with Walker Products. We're here to discuss mass airflow sensors. Now, we have a 2009 Nissan Altima, which has a check engine light on. We've properly diagnosed that as being the mass airflow sensor. We're going to show you how to change that here in a little bit. But before that, we'd like to discuss with you some of the different style mass airflow sensors that Walker has to offer, as well as some of the different technical information about how they operate. The mass airflow sensor on your vehicle is used to read the amount of airflow entering the engine. The engine then takes this information and uses it to create the proper air fuel mixture so your vehicle runs properly. Here we have a variety of mass airflow sensors. You have probably seen one of these designs on your vehicle. Mass airflow sensors were first developed in the early 1970s. The first mass airflow sensor was the vane style. With this style, the vane opens and closes by the amount of airflow that enters the engine. In the late 1980s, it evolved to a hot wire design which is still used today. The present mass airflow sensor is primarily a sensor only component where the housing is no longer removable. Walker offers the correct OE style mass airflow sensor for your vehicle in both full assembly and sensor only. We also offer most full assemblies in a sensor only option. This is more economical, allows for a faster installation, and includes a new bit and screws for proper installation. All Walker mass airflow sensors are 100% tested, new, and never remanufactured. We're now going to show you how to replace the mass airflow sensor, but first, you want to disconnect the negative terminal on the battery, as you always want to do this before performing any type of electrical installation. We're now going to remove the electrical connector. We're going to move that out of the way. Using our Phillips screwdriver, we're going to remove the screws. We'll now remove the old mass airflow. Now we're going to install our new Walker mass airflow and be sure to install that in the proper orientation. We'll reinstall our fasteners. Reinstall our electrical connector. We're going to go ahead and reconnect the negative terminal on the battery. And that completes our installation. Make sure to check back with Walker Products for future tech tips. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe.